The New Forest, famous for its ancient woodlands, wild heaths and iconic ponies, has a long history of human settlement. Yet parts of the forest's heritage have been hidden for centuries, only now coming to light thanks to the verderers of the New Forest Higher Level Stewardship Scheme. The 10-year scheme is a partnership between the Verderers, the Forestry Commission and the New Forest National Park Authority. And it is designed to protect and enhance internationally important landscapes in the forest. This includes restoring wetlands and wildlife habitats, as well as support for the ancient rights of commoning and the free grazing of ponies and cattle. The identification and protection of archaeological sites and ancient monuments is a vital part of the scheme's work, helping to avoid damage to sites which could be affected by future wetland restoration, tree felling and other forestry activities. This has been done thanks to a laser mapping technique called LIDAR, which stands for light detection and ranging. Like radar and sonar that ping out radio waves and sound to calculate distance, LIDAR beams harmless lasers from an aircraft to map the ground below to a very high resolution in three dimensions. Crucially, it can see through tree canopies and other vegetation to see features which would be hidden to traditional techniques such as aerial photography. During the past five years, archaeologists based at the New Forest National Park Authority have been painstakingly analysing vast amounts of data to identify previously unknown archaeological sites located across the open crown land. With just over half of the area now covered, the team have discovered more than 3,000 new features and sites to be added to the local historic record including these lumps and bumps in the landscape near Hampton Ridge in the north of the New Forest. So we've obviously found a variety of things up there, but one site that really stands out is a prehistoric pit and mound site where we've got tens of these Bronze Age lumps and bumps. The main theory is that they are either potentially to do with burial remains or they are to do with industry such as flax work. LiDAR can also reveal archaeological features which are nearly invisible to the naked eye. Up in the forested area along Hampton Ridge, we've got a Roman road which runs from Cadenham and up to Falling Bridge. And if you were to look at it with the untrained eye, you wouldn't know there's anything there. It would just look like oak trees and heather. But the LiDAR really pulls that linear feature out and in fact you can see the highway running clear as day. Terrestrial laser scanning has also been used to record archaeological features in very high detail, including this 19th century rifle range at Longbottom near God's Hill. This revealed that the observation hut used to see where the riflemen hit their target was in a poor state of repair. Thanks to funding through the higher level stewardship scheme, the observation hut was restored with distinctive red brick to highlight the work done. Whilst LiDAR is a powerful tool, it cannot be relied upon without verification from teams of local volunteers on the ground. We've got around 20 active volunteers that come out come rain or shine and they use tablet devices, cameras, ranging poles to help record these archaeological features because not everything that we identify in the LiDAR data is necessarily archaeological. There's a fantastic site in the north of the forest uh, where we thought we'd found a feature associated with a Second World War decoy bombing site as well as some new prehistoric burial mounds. And they look great in the data. When we got out to the site to actually go and look at them, what we'd actually found was the most elaborate kid's den that you'll ever discover. The work of the past five years has improved our knowledge and understanding of the new forest throughout its history, as well as helping to identify, record and protect a huge number of archaeological sites all of which wouldn't have been possible without the help of our committed team of volunteers. I've been with the New Forest National Park volunteers now for several years. It gives me the opportunity to get out of this wonderful scenery um, and also to find out a lot more about the area. Over the last five years we've covered just over half of the open crown land, so just over 10,000 hectares with uh, volunteers doing a lot of ground-based survey work. The volunteers have helped to record just over 3,000 archaeological sites for the local historic records. All information about sites identified through the LiDAR data is kept for posterity at the local historic environment records office in Winchester 
which is publicly available through Hampshire County Council. It is hoped that the project will continue to make new discoveries during the next five years. To explore the LiDAR for yourself and find out how to get involved, visit our website for more information.